What's up everybody, Frank AZHP Collectibles here with another football mail time. I have six packages. Let's go over background and start cracking into these. Background, I went the 1984 route and I have a ton of regular 1984 tops, but I wanted to do an original and then a bunch of design reprint stuff. So 84 tops, Ronnie Lott, PSA 9 which is awesome that I got a nine on that because old school 80s stuff does not great, amazing. And it, if it does, it's expensive. 2012 tops Chrome, the 84 inserts for rookies. I uh, got an Andrew Luck PSA nine. Uh, then moving on to 2013 tops Archives, Mark Clayton, who didn't have a rookie until 85. So that's pretty cool. Got a gem mint 10 on that one. And, uh, and that matches the Marino 84 rookie too, which is cool. And then a 2015 top 60th anniversary, good old Jameis Winston, PSA 10. So very cool, nice background. Uh, most of what I've been getting in the mail, at least with the last two mail times, have been PSA graded cards. I don't see this being a whole lot different. This is probably about the same. And starting off right there, how about that? 1998 Topps Chrome insert, Hidden Gems. It's not the Refractor, it's the regular, but very cool, Terrell Davis, PSA 9. Hidden Gems are very, very nice. The Refractors are even better. Happy to have another Terrell Davis PSA graded card in the collection. I believe I have like a 99 or 2000 Refractor as well. So that's cool, that's a good start. Good old Terrell Davis. Let's see what else we got. Next up, we have two graded cards. All right, one of them being 1984, Cliff Branch. Um, not in the hall yet, but he is a, a finalist, an old timer finalist, and he's the only old timer finalist uh, for 2022. So even though he's not technically in yet, He's the only old timer finalist he's getting in this year. Uh, I bought this a long time ago because I knew he was getting in. He's been a finalist so many times. He deserves it, but good old Cliff Branch. You know what? Yes, it was Drew Pearson who got in last year. Now it'll be Cliff Branch, another classic wide receiver. So very cool. It's only a PSA seven. I don't mind. I didn't have it. Now I do. And another Hall of Famer, 1989. Mike Munchak, one of the best O lines, uh, one of the best o, o offensive linemen of all time. Also on that line with Bruce Matthews, absolute monster of an O line, blocking for Warren Moon. So very cool. Happy to have another 89. I am moving along on both the 84 and the 89s for my goals. So. Uh, let's see, what do we have next? Hey, we got some 85s Hall of Famers, starting with Andre Tippett, PSA 8. Very, very cool. Um, great, great linebacker for the 80s and 90s for the New England Patriots. 85 PSA 8, 85s are very tough to grade with black border, so very happy to have that. And another amazing offensive lineman here, in Anthony Munoz from 85. I am getting closer to having every Anthony Munoz card from the 80s. I believe I need an 89 and an 88. And I think I have 82 through 87. So very cool PSA 8 on that one as well. Anthony Munoz Hall of Fame O-line for them Bengals who as of next weekend are going to the Super Bowl. By the time you guys watch this, it'll probably be well over on the Super Bowl, but all good. Um, I'm rooting for the Bengals because they've never won a Super Bowl before, but uh, their offensive line is horrible. They could have used a Munoz on their team all year long, that's for sure. Oh, next up, I've been wanting one of these for so long and I finally bit. 97 Chrome, Tony G rookie. It's only a PSA 8. Back in the day, you used to be able to get a 9 for 20 bucks. Not so much anymore. So, got myself an 8. Pretty sure I paid like $17 for it or somewhere around there. 
very, very happy to have a Tony G rookie chrome from 97. Awesome. That is, uh, he is one of the tight end goats. So very, very happy to have. All right. Oh, we got a raw card. We don't, I, I haven't been getting a lot of raw stuff recently. And it looks like we got some extras in here too. Uh, speaking of that Oilers team, I ordered, I'll go over what I ordered first. I got some auto cards, got some Ernest Givens in a 1990. And um, I, I, on one of my previous mail times, I got a Drew Hill PSA authenticated and graded uh, Drew Hill autograph card and Drew Hill's sadly no longer with us. So I, I wanted to pick that up while I could. And um, I wanted to get every 90s uh, receiver of that run and gun team, which is Drew Hill, uh, Ernest Givens, Curtis Duncan, and Haywood Jeffries uh, autograph from 1990. I have a, uh, um, I do have a Haywood Jeffries 90 PSA graded. It's not autographed. Um, it is the Haywood Jeffries rookie. So I do want to get one autographed at some point, but these are the two that I picked up from this seller. I matched up the autos with the history of that player's autos and they look very good. Also both blue ink, just like the Drew Hill is, uh, is blue ink. So very, very happy to have these. That's really cool. Um, I just need a Haywood Jeffries in blue ink right now. The only one that's autographed in blue ink on eBay is like, it's a little overpriced. It's like 15 bucks raw. So not super excited about picking that up. And I guess this seller uh, thought I was a big Oilers fan. So he gave me a Mike Barber autograph for a pitch in and an Alan Pinkett from 1990 autographed. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I don't know any of these players. Um, I mean, Alan Pinkett is familiar because you know I collected cards a lot in the 90s, but I don't know how good either of these guys really were. Um, Looks like each one of them had spent four years of four years on the Oilers before they autographed this card or before this card came out. So kind of cool. I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. Maybe I'll give them to somebody. But uh, very, very happy to have the Curtis Duncan and the Ernest Givens. Um, what do we got? One more package left? Yeah, one more. One more. Oh, a bunch of graded stuff. Cool. All right, all right. So we're going to start with this. This was just a pitch in. I think I paid a dollar for it plus 50 cents, 75 cents for shipping. It's a Santana Moss rookie from score 2001 BGS eight. It's not going to be a keeper in my collection. It will go. Uh, it'll probably go to. Um, to Kane Kane's cards, Miami. There's a guy on uh, Instagram who follows me who likes all my stuff and he's a big Miami fan. So um, I'll probably put this in my stash for him. And it's got some subgrades there on the back, but I mean, still cool card, even if it may not be a keeper. It's score, I don't really keep score, so. <laughs> and then uh, my second, I think, CSG card, I got this partially because I wanted to check out the case, which it is a pretty nice case. Uh, I guess comparing it to a PSA, it's the same exact height. So card sits a little lower, labels a little higher. I don't know whether it stacks. Does it stack? It does not stack with a PSA. Maybe eh, a little tiny bit. Not really. Um, but nonetheless, Ray Lewis, X Fractor, 2007, CSG Mint 9. This is either my first or my second CSG. I wanted to give it a try, check it out. It is a pretty nice looking case. I, I won't go out of my way to pick up CSGs in the future, but if I see them and they're a reasonable price, I don't mind adding them to my graded collection. And the last card, I love me some Sepia Refractors. Jadavion Clowney, rookie, sepia to 99, PSA 9. I wonder what he's gonna do this year. 
He was on the other side of Miles Garrett in Cleveland, and he performed very well. He did well on sacks. He's great against run defense, which is one reason why they picked him up. It's number five of 99, but I love Sepias, so I pick him up whenever I can, raw or graded. So very cool. Jadeveon Clowney rookie. Um, I don't believe I had any non-insert uh, Jadeveon Clowney. I know this is technically an insert because it's a refractor, but I didn't have any like base or refractors graded of Jadevi Young Clowney from what I remember. And now I do. So uh, quite a haul. We got um, a ton more graded stuff as like I have the last three videos or whatever. Um, I got some raw autograph stuff, which I only need one more raw auto or one more auto for the, the Haywood Jeffries auto um, so that I can have those four run and gun re receivers. Then maybe I'll pick up a Warren Moon um, super happy to have the Tony G, uh, Rookie Chrome. Um, very happy to add to my 84 and my 85 and my 89 collections of Hall of Fame graded stuff. Um, I got some dope uh, Chrome stuff with the Terrell Davis and the Ray Lewis, uh, of obviously besides the Tony G and the Sepia Jadeveon Clowney, who won't be a Hall of Famer, but was is definitely um, somebody who made a big impact on the league. So. Great haul, happy to have. If you're in interested in more classic tops with occasional pro set and action pack stuff in there as well, check out the Instagram right here. Ding. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of day. Peace.